Hey, it's Dave. So a couple hours ago, I just got back to Austin from visiting and participating in Tesla AI Day. It was a fantastic time. And it's interesting because there's a lot of different opinions and reactions people have to the Tesla AI Day, and especially the reveal of the Optimus prototype. So on one side, some people are saying, wow, what a piece of junk. Tesla can't even make a robot that can walk well. But on the other side, some people are saying Optimus is going to take over the world, right? It's a done game. So how do we make sense of these differing opinions? I think it's easy to misjudge something that is super early. For example, early smartphones were ridiculed by a lot of people. The first version of Google search seemed ridiculously simple. Early YouTube was viewed as a silly hobby for youngsters. Even computers were misjudged by most people early on. Some things I think is okay to misjudge because they're inconsequential. However, there are some things that are super consequential and if you misjudge, you can miss out on a huge opportunity. I think Tesla's Optimus robot deserves an open mind for a few reasons. First, number one, it's got a huge potential market. If Tesla truly can combine an exponentially improving brain and combine that together with an able body that can do a huge range of motions, Tesla has a huge addressable market that is probably bigger than any other product in history. Number two, let's look at Tesla's track record. Tesla has defied the odds. They've made revolutionary EVs that's completely changed the auto market. And now they're building world-class AI expertise and a huge AI team. Number three, look at Elon Musk's track record. He's built reusable rockets. He's created Starlink, an internet satellite constellation, and he's been successful in creating multiple companies. At AI Day last night, I got to meet some of the various teams that were working on the Optimus robot. And Tesla had a display of the various kind of AI teams. For robotics, they had these four tables and teams that were assembled there. Number one was robotics hardware actuators. Number two was robotics software, and then robotics control. And number four, robotics hardware electrical and mechanical. Now I got a chance to speak to many of the engineers that were heading these tables there. And my impression was that these are small teams still, they're still growing, and the Tesla is still in the early stages, right, of building Optimus. Tesla is putting in a lot of work in the foundational pieces, building a robot platform that can actually be mass producible and very useful. You've got actuators, right, the different types and placements and figuring out the different joints. There are a ton of design, mechanical and electrical engineering decisions that Tesla has had to make. So for our first look at the Optimus robot, we didn't get a robot that can do a ton of things. But that's not the point of yesterday's AI day. Elon was casting the vision, sharing with people the foundational pieces that the Tesla team is putting in place. So here are my initial takeaways from the event. Number one, I think Elon Musk is seeing things clearly with Optimus. So his focus is on the brains and the actuator. Everything follows those two things. I think if you wanted to compare the brains and the actuator, the brains are actually the most important part because if you don't have the brains, then you don't have a really useful robot. And then Elon is focusing on building something that is really useful in the shortest amount of time. Now this is really important because you learn a lot along the way and you can't wait until you've got something perfect. If you wanted to do that, you could be waiting for decades to release right, a robot. Also, if you're able to come up with something useful and get that out quickly, Quickly, you can build economies of scale and that can help drive adoption of the product. Further, you've got network effects. If you can have a large fleet of robots out in the real world at scale, those robots can gather data and that data can be further used to improve the robot's usefulness. And then you've got a situation with network effects where the leader of the market could potentially run away with the lead. Further, by pushing for a useful product soon, you're attracting the best talent. People want to work for the leader of the field. They don't want to be working in a lab where the product's never going to see the light of day. Another key for the Optimus robot is going to be product market fit. In other words, people have got to want your product and be willing to pay for it. So the product needs to deliver value and the type of value that people want. And that's where Elon's focus on making the robot useful is so important because it's the absolute absolutely right focus. And ultimately, I think that's why Tesla and Elon will succeed in building this humanoid robot. They've got their brains, which is AI, and they're investing a ton of resources to build the best in class infrastructure, teams, expertise, compute, and training to really excel with real world AI. And a lot of the effort that Tesla has put into their FSD program, all of that infrastructure and behind the scenes tech is going to be used to build their brains for the robot. Then they're building the actuators and enable robot body and Tesla 
one of the best manufacturers in the world, right? They've got some of the best engineers with the best motors, engine design. They're using their expertise to redefine and reinvent actuators and what a robot body can be. And then lastly, they've got the strategy, right? A path to market by going for an affordable, useful robot, first perhaps using it in factories and then eventually um, ending up in the consumer's home. All right, my second kind of big takeaway from all of this is the market for robots and AI robots is for Tesla's taking. I think there are not many people out there that believe that the market and the tech is ready for AI robots. A lot of companies are in the prototype stage. They think that this is something that's many decades or many years in the future. However, Elon here is making a bold bet. He believes that the tech and the market is actually eminently ready and that now is the time to make bold bets in building right, the brains and the body for the robot. And I think it's hard to bet against Elon because he's done this multiple times. Elon has built his companies around this insight where he's seen the intersection and the time of the tech and the market being ripe for disruption. For example, electric vehicles, the tech for batteries, lithium ion batteries, and the market for these cars at the right price point. This is what Elon's key insight for Tesla was with SpaceX and space launch and satellite internet. It's the same thing. The tech timing and the market has intersected and Elon has seen that so clearly. And I think the same thing is happening right with robots and AI robots. Elon is seeing that the intersection of the tech and the market being right. All right. My third takeaway is I think this is going to take some time. Obviously, building an able body and a useful optimist robot is going to take much longer than a year. And Tesla is just getting started. A lot of it, I think, is going to depend on breakthroughs in AI, how fast Tesla can improve and push the envelope with real world AI. Also, it's going to depend on how fast Tesla can get that able bodied robot together, a robot that can be truly capable in doing a lot of tasks, but also affordable at the same time. And because of the complexity of these tasks involved, I think there's a wide range of possible timelines that we're looking at. My fourth takeaway from all of this is that the divergence of beliefs surrounding Tesla's humanoid robot is an opportunity. There are lots of different opinions. And I think a lot of times the enthusiasm or on the flip side, the cynicism can get in their way. But if we take a step back and in the bigger picture, long term, the brains of the robot and the body of the robot will come together, whether it's Tesla or another company eventually. Now, it might take longer than expected, and that's to be understood with new technology. If you look at the typical S curve in terms of adoption with new technologies, it's usually in the beginning stages where adoption is slow, and then later the slope of adoption becomes very steep. And in terms of AI robots, yeah, I think we're going to see that S curve where the beginning parts are are going to be slow adoption, but once we hit that steep slope, then it's going to be like a product like we've never seen before. And a big part of that is because of the ultimate and the end game usefulness of the Optimus robot. You've got a brain that's continuously and exponentially improving in what it can do, and you've got a potentially able robot body that can do more and more things over time as well as Tesla improves that technology. So I think the key is for Tesla to focus on building a useful ro robot, bring that to market as soon as possible, finding product market fit, and then using the economies of scale and the data advantage to improve the robot's functionality and grow Tesla's lead in that field. I think that's the focus of Elon and Tesla. I think it's the right focus. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, go ahead, like, and subscribe. All my videos can be found as an audio podcast as well. Just search for Dave Lee on investing in your favorite podcast player. I'm also on Twitter at HeyDave7. All right, we'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.